Hey, what's up guys? Uh, from what Bailey says, a couple of you guys have been asking about what we did with Piper and how we started all that up. Because uh, some of you are looking into getting your own Yorkie while she sits there answering more uh, <laughs> comments on YouTube. So, uh, so we're just going to do a quick overview of uh, everything that we had for her uh, and uh, try and get all that finished up. Cool? Today we are cutting my head off here, talking about how we had Piper set up as a new puppy and how we have her set up now in her kennel. So just a few things. She always had, when she's playing with, this little lion in her kennel at all times whenever she was a puppy. She also had this as a teether toy. We also had this teether toy because it was the smallest thing to fit into her mouth at the time. And then she had this nubby like um, Nyla ball toy as well. They're going to chew the crap out of everything. everything. Luckily so with as her. as much as you can get teether toys. Yes. Something for them to chew on because they're, they're still going to chew on your hands. But... If you can give them something to chew on as well, that, that helps. Okay. And do you want to go over like her bedding and stuff? Well, we did baby blankets, really. Mm -hmm. um, swaddle blankets. Receiving blankets. Uh, receiving blankets and stuff like that for just added warmth. And then a big fuzzy, you know, fuzzy baby blanket. blanket. And that's her actual that's puppy blanket. All of this is stuff that we bought before we got her. And then you want to show them her bed? Her bed's actually a cat bed. Yeah, a cat bed. It was she a, still likes it. Yeah, you know, still sleeps in it. It's too small for her, which we'll get to later. The only reason we got her a cat bed was because actual dog beds were too high up, and with her yeah. being so tiny, she still had trouble getting into this with this tiny lid. And it's only like, I'd say what, well, two I'll inches put a high. Of her yeah. Baby here. And that's where this receiving blanket comes in, because I'm going to show you how we had to set up her kennel for her to easily access it on her own. The size that she was, though, and you can see on the kennel itself, Yeah. there's a lip on the kennel. It's about a four-inch yeah. lip. Well, it was bigger than she was, so she'd have to jump over here. And her legs were like that. <laughs> the, her little tummy and rib cage would get called on here. So we Piper. took receiving blankets. Well, let's do this. Here's how it was set up. We had that in the back, and then we always had this for her to bury herself in when she's gonna get it and she's gonna sniff it because her kennel's not where it's supposed to be. That was just kind of loosely thrown. We had her toys that she would sleep with and play with. They were always in there. In there, and then she had these bowls. This is actually a bowl from whenever she was a puppy. We couldn't find a smaller one, so this is what worked. So we would always have food and water down for her, which is supposed to be a huge no-no when you have a dog. But with her being a Yorkie, their blood sugar can bottom out quickly. And whenever, I mean quickly, whenever you have a nine to 10 ounce like puppy, like she was, and blood sugar bottoming out is a problem, you do not want to take any chances. So we always had water here and we had food here, just like that. And she's trying to look for food and water because she knows where it should be. And then, since she was so tiny, we would take a receiving blanket. I think I actually used two of them, and I just grabbed one for this, but whatever. And I would fold it kind of like so. I would have enough like that, and I would do it like this. I did have a second one. I actually had multiple, because we make a little ramp for her to go up and over into it, so she wouldn't get caught up on the edge of her kennel being so tiny. We didn't want her collar to get stuck or anything. So this is how her kennel was set up as a little bitty puppy. Um, we modified it. We never really kenneled her. Um, what, how long did we kennel her the first few weeks? Just in the evening. Yeah, we really kenneled her just um, at night. And that's what's wrong with her. We kenneled her at night. Whenever we got her, I, would, I had a job. And I would kennel her in the mornings. I got home at about 11, 30, 12 in the afternoon. And I would let her roam the house. If I had to go use the restroom or something, I would put her in her kennel. 
Um, then we started allowing her as she got older and kind of understood the concept of pee pads and going out side for the first I would say three months of her life we did pretty good about taking her outside um, and she was pretty good about pee pads as well and then we started letting her stay out of her kennel at night we made her stay in our room because her kennel was in our room and then we got into an apartment and she was pretty much allowed free reign because we could section her off from the carpet and she knew how to use her pee pads and where her pee pads were. So to this day, how many times have we kenneled her, would you say? Uh, after the point that we stopped, we have She been. does not get kenneled during the day. She does not get kenneled at night when we have company. She does not get kenneled. Um, that's just the way that it works for us and that it works for her that she is a good enough dog to not have to be kenneled um it's instead not right for everybody though yeah um some folks will see that their dog needs to be kenneled or they just want them to be kenneled, kenneled they're destructive when they're alone and yeah. bored and stuff like that um, thankfully we were lucky enough that she got out of the biting phase and the wanted to tear stuff. Whenever she was a puppy, she would start whining at night because she could see us and because being so tiny, this is a rather large kennel. This is a kennel, like all the box had a lab on it. To me, it doesn't look comfortable even for a lab to be in. Um, so we had to throw a blanket over her kennel like he is doing. This is just a blanket that I made, a quilt that I made in high school. Um, we usually keep this on her kennel, like she now she sees what's going on. Um, we usually we used to keep all of her essentials up here, which is a puppy, like her NutraCal, her food, some extra water, some treats, and stuff like that. Now, what we do is, I need her purple blanket. We used to just keep her bed like this, and we would just put her bed in there. And then we realized that she wasn't necessary, necessarily sleeping in her bed. Keep it folded up and put it in the way we have it. Oh goodness, the toy just fell out. Um, because her bed is too small for her right now. And we just haven't found an actual dog bed that we like. So for now, this is what we have. We're still shopping for a new bed. So this is what we've done instead. And usually it's a little bit more organized than what he's done, but just for the sake of the video. Um, we put an old blanket. Fuzzy blankets are the best. She is just like us and the fuzzier and fluffier and warmer and the blanket is, the better. The more she gets in it. Um, so we have that blanket in there. It doesn't stop there, people. We have to add her bed to it along with her other blanket in case she decides to get to her bed. So that, just like when she was a little puppy, goes all the way in the back of her kennel like so. And there you have it. Ta-da! This is. If she's not in one of our laps. She's in the kennel. Yeah. Just kind of chilling. She knows when she's in trouble. She'll go to her kennel. We've never kenneled her for being. We never punish her with her kennel. Her kennel is her safe place. It's her home. It's her den area. As you can tell, we have made it as comfortable and cozy of a spot as we can for her. Um, even though she does have free reign of the house, this is her area. We read a lot that if, if you don't make it a punishment, her bed ain't punishment. Don't lock them up because they're being bad. Don't scold them and send them to bed because this is going to be really the only place that's She's safe. a safe haven for her and that she knows that she can go to and it's hers so it, like we said if she knows she's done something wrong and we get on to her she immediately goes here we've never told her go to your bed go to your kennel we've never locked her up now if we're doing something where we have to have the front door wide open she will try and bolt um she'll come back but we don't want her to bolt just because we do live in a busy apartment complex we don't want any bad accidents to happen and that's just irresponsible so if we have the door open like bringing a lot of groceries in and out or moving something in and out we will lock her into our kennel for just a brief few minutes and then bring her out she will bark and whine the whole time eventually she does get comfortable and settle down but like we said we don't use her kennel as fun it was a little bit worrisome about when we go to travel with her uh, but she's actually gotten really used to her sherpa bag um, 
even, <laughs> she's in there even now. now she's in there. Um, <laughs> if this is out, she picks this over any other place to sit. Yes. For some inexplicable reason. I think she just likes to ride. So. Yeah. She's in there. Um, but she does really well with it. If I put this down and tell her we need to go, we get going. Um, but it's got the top latch for her, enough space in the back of the bag to put all of her food, water, that kind of stuff. Um, we have a second bag, another Sherpa that's a little bit bigger and she doesn't care for that one. Yeah. I think it's another thing of how cozy this one is. Yeah. So if you can find these, we got these at Petco okay. relatively cheap because they were uh, clearance out. If you're ever able to, to come across one, these are really, really good bags, easy to carry on, and they're airplane rated. Um, rated. So yeah. you can take them on the airplane. It has a nice, um, there's a toy in there. <laughs> it has a nice size pocket in the back. We usually keep an extra bowl, her leash, her harness, and a bag of food and some treats. It also has a safety feature on the side. I don't know if you've ever noticed it, this part where you can run a seat belt through it and actually lock them in. So if you are ever in a crash, the bag does not go flying through the car because that would be terrifying. But we can usually take this through. We can go, Piper, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> She's ready to go. So although she is not kennel trained in the house to go and be in her kennel, we don't kennel her up. She will ride for hours in this. We have taken many trips with her. Um, we take regular trips, like a two hour trip to go to the lake. She will ride in this and sleep the whole time. Like we yeah. said, if this is out and she needs somewhere to go, she will go and get into this. We will regularly find her in here, pass smooth out. And a lot no of that, problems. Um, in the same way that you need to um, make sure that they're, they're they're socialized with other people, make sure that they're used to actually riding. Um, we took... We, she goes everywhere. We, she goes with everywhere us. with us. We did when, immediately after we purchased, we purchased her and we started bringing her around the places. And we took two trips to Kentucky, which is about 13 and a half hours with her. Um, within the first six months that she was with us. Literally, we um, got her in June. We went to Kentucky in July. Yeah. So she had, had she had her first round of Parvo shots? Yes. She so had her first, her yeah, we made sure she had her first yeah. round of Parvo shots. Um, we made sure she wasn't, we were very safe about it, um, keeping her paws clean, not letting her um, out on the grass. Out on the grass and stuff like that. Whenever we did get her as a puppy, like within the first week, we did have her in public. Um, where he used to work, I would bring her in to visit with him. We'd keep her in her little pink polka dot blanket. We would wrap her up like a baby. We would bring her to PetSmart and Petco and such as that with us. And we were very careful about who would touch her. Okay, and if people were going to touch her, we make sure they germic the hands, just like you would with a baby, because at that point she was too young for her parvo shots. But we still wanted to socialize her, and I don't know if it helped or hurt us because she loves people. If she sees someone in public, she thinks they're her friend. If she sees other dogs in public, she thinks they have to play with her. So it really has helped us in taking her everywhere to my mom's, to his parents, to my grandparents to in town and stuff as long as it's somewhere that she can go inside with us she goes with us Jordy of the time we've actually moved it to this part of the room to kind of give her our own space it's behind our recliner which in relation to the rest of the house is behind the rest of the living room so it's not as if when you walk through the house that's the first thing that you see uh, she's in our dining room. Yeah, she's in the dining room, so it's at least a little bit out of the way. Her pee pad we stick behind the kennel, so it's away from her food. Um, so kennel set up the same way. That'll be where she, you know, hangs out. She'll hide all of her raw hides and stuff like that. Food bowl, her big toy box. Uh, but it's at least out of the way. So when I walk through the living room and such, and I'm actually in the living room where we're entertaining, it's out of the way. There's almost no way for me to be able to see it from the middle of the living room. If I'm sitting on the couch, I can kind of tell that something's back there, but it's not as if, hey, hey. Uh, it's not like it's like it was. We did have it in the corner. 
And that helps Over give there. her a little so. bit more privacy as well. All right, so we used to keep her food box on her kennel and her pee pads and stuff. They would usually be stacked up somewhere over in there. Um, now we have an actual space where we can keep all of her essentials. Right now we have like an extra blanket. We have a bottle of water because she does not drink tap water. Um, just like we don't drink tap water, we're not making her drink tap water. Um, some treats and another little jar of treats. And we also have her, where is it? Her fresh breath drops. Those usually stay up there too because her water is right there and it's nice to have everything together. Are you finished showing your home? Hmm? But for the old one, the majority of the time, give them a lot of toys. She's got a lot of different toys and treats. Well, um, that's just how we've set it up and um, you know trying to take care of her the best way as possible you don't have to do anything the same way that we did but we did it as best as we could for us she's like our child and we love and this is what's worked for her and what has worked personally for us so so i hope we answered all your questions if not please leave us a comment know.